Hello everybody and welcome back to the stream. We're gonna be playing some more Pokemon Violet tonight. I last left off in Artisan. I was... I beat the Grass Gym. Mostly with the Talon Flame. Or I guess it's a Fletchender. I always just kind of remember the last one of that line. And then I did a Terra thing, and that was about it. So now... I'm gonna head out this way. We're gonna go take on uh, Team Star's base. The janitor. Oh, that's a marini. Um, let's flame charge it because I don't remember what type it is. It might just be pure poison. Nope, it is poison water. Okay. Let's swap out to this. Hey there, uh... Nainzo2002. How are you doing tonight? Quad ineffective. got just one Pokemon. We'll mud shot this thing. If that thing has peck. I flinched. Yeah, keep landing Venishock. It doesn't poison, but I know it deals more damage if it if my Pokemon is poisoned. So being a poison type, I can't be poisoned, unless that thing has corrosion by chance. Which I don't think that thing learns that. Alright. Ah, oh, that must be the evolved version of... the piggy. Well, there's a sur There's the middle stage of... That's a Pikachu. Hm. Litleo is what I was going to look for. Let's quick tap this thing. Well, that did almost nothing. Attack rows and special attack rows. This is bad. We'll pack this thing. It's gonna continue to work up. I suppose Fletchender is a good choice, because I resist it. I resist its fire moves. But it also has normal stab. And that is what I was afraid of. Good thing there's a Pokemon Center right over there. Wow, all those Pokemon behind me were uh, gathered to watch me battle this Litleo. <laughs> this is mine. I'm not going to put him in my party for now. Murkrow? Yeah, we'll catch that one in the back. I 
I forgot that this thing was that weak. I'm gonna switch out to Knackley. I'm gonna switch out to the wall. Let's try Smackdown. Hopefully this doesn't one-shot it, because I do want to catch this Murkrow. Awesome. Hayes gets rid of status changes. Murkrow, stay in the ball. Or not. I know that this Pokemon is actually a competitive viable Pokemon. Because it can learn the ability Prankster. Okay, Murkrow. Now you're just being a nuisance. There you go. Got him. We are good. Ah. No, we're not gonna give this thing a nickname. I'm not gonna use it for now. I will likely evolve it if I ever use it. Oh goodness, those things are trying to get me. Okay. Before I do anything else, I want. I want my whooper up front. It, what are you doing? You are following me? There is a Komala and a Spidops. The Chonk. What is this? Is that a gulpin? Nope, I have one of those. That is a shootle. I picked up a Teddy Ursa in the last one. Venonats. Let's open up this and see if there's anything rare nearby. Dunsparce! Ooh, I would love a Dunsparce. not gonna lie, I actually really like this big open plain. A Dunsparce! <laughs> I found what I was looking for. Let's poison tail this thing. That's really bad. So I don't think Wooper's defense is very good. Poison it. Yes! I did put myself on a timer, but if I'm careful, I can catch this thing easily. Now, the question is, is, is this thing a physical attacker? Hey there, Megan Stewart Zero. How are you doing tonight? Let's try to catch this thing in a great ball from that spot.
Perfect. This is a Pokemon I actually kind of was interested in. Because the Dunsparce seems like a really good Pokemon. What the? So this thing wants to learn Aqua Tail. No. This wants to learn Aqua Tail. And that's a physical move. And with my huge power, that's going to be great. Um, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of Water Gun. Charm is useful for the fact that you can uh, lower something's attack. It's going all right. I'm just, I'm just starting this up again. I've done three streams of this, and I've gotten two badges, and I've done one of the Titan Pokemon, and I'm about to take on the first Team Star base. I'm not going to use this now. I will save it for later, though. And now my Wooper will evolve. Yeah, I just picked this up the other day. Um, oh, Clodsire. I don't stream every day, but I have been streaming a lot more frequently lately. It wants to learn Amnesia. Let's see what we got. Uh, it's special defense stat. That is its biggest stat. Yeah, we'll forget tackle on that. Raising this thing's special defense is kind of nuts. If you're looking for a special tank. Toad scroll. Give me that. Okay, if I remember right, this thing is grass ground. So let's hit it with poison tail and see what happens. Crit. Ooh. Oh, that's right. This thing has the ability Mycelian Might. We'll try a Pokeball and catch in this thing. I have done other games in the past. Um, some of the stuff I've done has been things like... I've done Bloodborne, I've done some of the Dark Souls stuffs. I have played some of the Resident Evil games on my stream. I just have done a variety in the past. This is actually the first Nintendo game I've done on my stream. Ooh, there's some lag. And this is annoying alone. I'm gonna run. I don't wanna fight the one alone. I just wanted this item. I'm just looking for... Like, what kind of action games are you talking about?
don't know if I'm interested in the Tauros or not. That's a Cyclozar. You have a unique move on you. No, I haven't really played PUBG or Fortnite. I've never played them. <laughs> Honestly, I usually end up playing, like, some of the games that could be multiplayer, like Bloodborne. I usually end up playing them by myself. Uh, let's Poison Tail this Cyclozar. If I remember right, this thing's half dragon. That was a hard hit and move. Mud shot at once. Breaking sweep. There we go. Right in the red. Perfect range for this. Oh, that was a critical critical capture. Awesome. Dang, those things are Well, it is a dragon. And it's normal type. Rain dance. Good for rain teams. What did I just pass? Oh, a deerling. A green deerling. Great ball. Core of a squire. There's a giant river in the way. There's a cyclozar again. More tauros. What level are my teammates at? Mmm, Zoomerol is probably going to get a workout coming up. Zoomerol and my Claude Sire are going to be getting work out, getting worked out. Because I'm about to be going into Team Star's fire base. And those are the two Pokemon that are resistant to fire that also have decent matchups. Knackley could also be pretty good. Let's go to the Pokemon and see what they've got for sale. Heal Ball and Net Balls. Yeah, we'll pick up some more great balls. All right. Wow, that's cool. I didn't know I could do that. for now. Ignore the Cyclozar. I'm getting a phone call. Uh, Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I should go for what now? I 
I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation? Yeah. Overly? What's overly? Thank y'all. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Well, that's Clavel, if I've ever seen him. What? Who are you? The name's Clive. That's a lie. I already know that's the director, because I remember the director's face. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of a mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Gavin? I guess maybe? Ah, <laughs> shy as ever, I see. Oh, you mean an overlay? Yeah, I've got one of them. On. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star. That's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose it's hardly I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Hold on just a second. Sorry about that. Uh, Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk about... Let's talk Operation Starfall. Well, I guess I could see your overlays sometime. I'm probably not going to do that in the middle of this stream. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust the bo these bosses from their roles somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each one of these squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of the, those bases now, in fact. Yeah, I am on Discord. Uh, my username on Discord is the same as my Twitch username. Ah yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of those is the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Gavin. They're basically declarations of war. Oh. <laughs> well, I didn't realize he put it under my name. Now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. 
Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Gavin. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as Gavin's support. You're a cautious one, alright. I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, Gavin. Director Clavel? I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. His haircut is ridiculous. Alright. Let's rock. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. Um, I'm probably not going to check it while I'm on... Well, let me just check the request. I'm not going to look through all this stuff while I'm on stream. But I did accept your friend request. Okay, so, whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. Get me? I'm not turning back. Well, all right, time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Well, it's a good thing this is the fire base. And I forgot to switch my Pokemon, so I guess I'm starting off with Claude Sire. Hound Hour. He's got just the one Pokemon, so no need for Toxic Spikes. Uh, we'll mud shot it because it's super effective. And this thing's mostly a physical attacker. Hound Hour Speed Fell. I will definitely switch off to Azumarill after this. Wants to learn Yawn? I won't learn that for now. I feel Amnesia is better in the long run if I'm fighting a special attacker. I defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. No. Not against good old Claude. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? That's right. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of the, my crew. Hasta la vista. Man, these guys are dumb. Hey, Gavin. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought you'd come give me some backup. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. Foo foo? What? Oh, it's a char cadet. Is that you, Carlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? Hmm. 
This is Carlos the Char Cadet. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. I picked up one of them recently. Ah, Carlos, wait! He ran off. It looks like he may have some connection to the Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Gavin. Alright, let's rock this. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew. The Sadar Squad. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-around of the all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela, keep her cool. She should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off the, this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Cedar Squad off the map. Well, Claude Sire, let's get to it. The first three Pokemon in my party. Ooh, Claude Sire needs healed. Let's heal it up. We'll go with this. Let's start off with Mackley, actually. He's got really good physical defense. Actually, before I do that, I'm also going to save. I didn't realize they were going to limit me to three Pokemon on this. Careful now, Gavin. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The Grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Beep! Heads up, gang, some jumped-up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who's who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Send your Pokemon out with the R button to try to defeat a set number of, Pokemon, set number of Team Stars Pokemon before time runs out. When you're taking on this challenge of Star Barrage, you can have three Pokemon out at the same time. You lose in Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get too worn out to battle or if time runs out. If your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can, you can help it recover by using a vending machine. Press the Y button to give up.
clot sire. Yeah, I see him up there. Get that torque hole. Exactly, it's starting to get a little weak. Let's check the vending machines. Hopefully that didn't cost any money. Yeah, you get him, Clotsire. I love this thing. I beat 30 Pokemon. That was easy. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Uh oh. Loss of Team Star's fire crew, Mela. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you'd do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. versus the wall right here right now you're going down nope you gotta fight the wall oh drought all right we'll smack it down this move this move will torch you till there ain't nothing left but ash Flame wheel, huh? Physical attack, not very effective. However, that's 20 damage. That thing has some insane defense, and I did not realize it was level 27. I'm in trouble. Torkoal's defense is really high, but his special defense, I think, is not super great. So let's swap out to Azumarill. Ooh, I forgot about the drought, though. We'll hit it with a bubble beam and see how much it does. Darn it. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Six levels below this thing. Alright, let's hit it with Aqua Tail because I have huge power. There we go. Bye, Torkoal. 
sent out Reverun. I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. Oh, the engine? The car itself is a Pokemon? It's level 26. Okay. We'll Aqua Tail this thing. Well, there goes Azumarill. Actually, that overheat was a good, was a bad choice for it early on. It has speed boost. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, let's send in Claude Sire. I'm going to use a revive. Because I have a feeling Azumarill is going to be more useful. Blazing Torque. It's got speed boost. We'll mud shot this thing. There we go. That did almost nothing. So it's going to screech me? That's bad. I can't really afford to let my defense fall too low. Hit it up with an Aqua Tail with huge power. Holy smokes, this thing is not defensive. I'm actually going to heal here. I'll use mm, I'll use my Fletchender as a sack Pokemon, I think. Oh, that is about the worst thing that could have happened here. Cause that makes my attack normal now. I'll bubble beam it and see what happens. Not as much as that Aqua Tail. Yeah, you do overheat. Oh, I forgot its special attack had already fallen once. Blazing Torque is a physical attack, so I need to remember that. No matter what happens now, this won't live another attack. I'm actually fine with my with this going down here. Oh, I avoided it. This is just extra bonus damage at this point. Send in the bird. I'm gonna revive my water rabbit. Yeah, you screech me all you want. I'm gonna take a second to heal it up too. This thing's likely faster. I'm just gonna get some chip in. There we go. Okay. 
All right, Azumarill. Let's finish her up. Poor Clodsire. Aqua Tailless. I'm not burned anymore. I spoke too soon. I guess we'll see how much my Aqua Tail deals when I'm burned. About the same. This thing can't afford to overheat again. And it will do it anyways. Probably hit for like five. Hit with a bubble beam just to finish her up. The Rev Room fainted. You defeated Mela of Team Star. Perfect. Yeah, that's what the Water Rabbit with huge power does. Ugh, is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with your with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surely attitude to, so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surely attitude is what people kn know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Aerie. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. Well, now you're not a part of it. I've burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That knackly of yours really let us have it. Beating me in a battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. While I'm at it, you can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge? That's a pretty good move. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your knackley. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're Mella from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? A Charcadet? Wait. Well, if it ain't Carlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Carlos wanted to visit you? Carlos. To me, it looks like he's saying he wants to wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? They say Team Star has hold up, hold itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. 
everyone's still spouting garbage. And what about the m modified car you were motoring around just now? Hold on just a moment. These glasses are kind of dirty, so I'm going to wipe them off a little bit. better sorry about this guys I need to take care of this because I was having a hard time seeing a little bit that's better the Starmobile we made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight but we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Gosh darn it. These glasses are smeared. Okay, that's a lot better. Huh. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Gavin, it's me. It seems Mela no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, did she? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Cedar squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mela. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your ward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. 5,000. That's a lot. <laughs> you can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. That's what I get for doing this? Awesome. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. There they are. Hello. I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I bet this is the person on the phone. That's my theory on this. I don't know anything about this Team Starfall thing, but I bet that's Cassiopeia. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. You know, the treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. This is Cassiopeia. I'm calling it now. So, here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Got a lot of Pokemon materials. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of... Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard about, I heard all about you, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. Yeah, the... This base was a little stronger than I thought it was going to be, to be quite honest. Is there a Pokemon Center nearby? By chance? Dearling. I 
Cyclozar is worth quite a bit of... Actually, check your Pokemon. Yeah, you need to go do that. Time to heal up. I guess I can check to see what I can learn now. Agility, Mudslap, Fire Fang, I think is not new. Scary Face is new. Thunder Fang, Ice Fang is new. Water Pulse, I think I had. Struggle Bug, I did, I did have. This, I did not. Psybeam. Thief is new. No. Yeah, it's new. Hex is new. Hex was really strong. Pounce, Trailblaze is not new. I just picked that up from the gym leader. Okay. Low sweep? Dragon Tail, I think, is new. Avalanche is definitely new. Venishock is new. Smart Strike is new. Reflect and Light Screen are both new. And those are really good moves. Rock Blast, I think, is new. Grass Knot's new. Matronome is not. Flash Cannon is not new. Iron Defense, I don't think, is new. Oh, the easy way would be to look for the ones that have zero in my backpack. Will o Wisp is new. Baton Pass is new. Grassy's Terrain is not. I'm not going to make anything right now. Let's heal up. Alright, now if we can just evolve this Knackly, that'd be great. Well, this is a perfect chance to get some experience for it. Too nervous to eat berries. That's fine. I don't have anything to pluck. I guess it's a good thing I'm using a rock throw. Flame Boil wants to learn acrobatics. What does acrobatics do? It does more damage if the user's not holding an item. I'll replace Peck. Because it's automatically got more power. And honestly, quick attack is handy to have when you're just trying to deal a little bit of chip damage. Wait a minute. I saw the evolution of... This is a Corp Squire. Let's hit it with a rock throw, because it's not a steel type yet. Fury attack missed. Rock throw. No, I've. I'm not using a Corviknight, because it's, it turns into a steel type, and I already have an idea of the Pokemon I want for my steel type coming up. Okay, where's that Cyclozar? He's usually up here, around this tree. There he is. I'm gonna iron to 
defense. I know that this thing's got really good physical attack. Let's raise my defense. And now we'll hit it with a smackdown. That's a lot better. Guess it's a good thing I didn't go for another uh, iron defense. I'm just trying to beat this thing this time. I caught one. My attack fell? Well, how dare you. Those Tauros. I am going to attempt to catch one of these. It is a fighting type, so Nackley is a terrible choice. We'll go here. Oh, I was thinking of what my fighting type was going to be. Acrobatics. Oh, wait, I'm not holding an item. This is going to probably... Nope. Put it in range to catch, though, with a great ball. Get it. You don't like me. Alright, buddy. We'll quick attack you. Do a little more chip. Okay, I'm surprised that thing beat my bird. swap into this. Very resists it. And this thing is built like a tank. Give me that Tauros. Fine, I'll hit it with a Pokeball and see if that works any better. I wasted two great balls on that Tauros and then caught it in a Pokeball. Whew. That thing is a lot of experience, too. Paldean Tauros. Can't very well leave my bird though. Can't just leave it unalived. Need to heal her up. Watchtower? How did I miss the watchtower? Super potion. Let's 
Walkabilly? Well, I know what you got. Ah, he flies one of those little vehicle things. Hi, Squawkabilly. You're gonna go up against the wall. And the wall is gonna smack you down. Bad choice. Really bad choice. Move that never misses. Them leveled up. Good, good, good. We'll take on the Corvus Squire. We'll hit it with a rock throw to start. And then we'll hit with a smackdown. Power trip. That was normally effective. Seventy-eight. You know what? Let's level up this snackly ones. We'll have it. We'll have. Then I'll start using my starter some more. I'll start leading with the starter. Well, that was easy. The reason I leveled it up is because I knew it evolved at level 24. I don't know what this thing's middle form is called. Uh, Knackle Stack. Knackly, Knackle Stack, Garganackle. Oh, I want to learn Salt Cure? That's this thing's signature move, and that move is crazy good. Uh, bye, Rock Throw. Okay. So now, we'll leave with my. With my bud. And we're going to the watchtower. Why is Power Trip so weak? I'm gonna learn a, move, a new move. U-Turn is so good in this game. 70 power. What advice are you gonna give me, buddy? Wants to forget bite for a U turn? Mm, technically, bite isn't stab. It will be later. 
but I will swap it out. You know what, we'll go ahead and take care of this water crystal. Peach will be able to take care of it. I find it funny that it's Azuril who evolves into a water type. Two damage. We're gonna seed bomb this thing and see if. I'm not gonna catch that. I have Oregon Azumarill with huge power. There's that watchtower. Yeah, any of these watchtowers, I'm going to definitely go and examine them. Because they usually have gimme ghouls in them. The two I've found so far have both had a gimme ghoul. Man, so many Tauros. That's a pomo. Let's climb this tower. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to get that TM? Rare candy. Has damage taken by ghost type moves. Steel and water types are more strongly affected by this move. Okay. Well, I don't have anything good against ghost types. I give me ghoul. We'll give you the seed bomb. Perfect. 
buy a gimme ghoul. 50 coins. Oh. Tailwind? Holy smokes, that is a good ability. Hi, Pal Van Toros. I didn't mean to land on you, buddy. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna U turn. Fighting type. It's weak to flying. And fairy, I think. But I don't have any fairy moves. That's unfortunate for that Tauros. The second kick's gonna do almost nothing. Four. What's that back there? Oh, it's an Oinkalong. I got a nugget. Fake tears. Why is there a group of Taurus down here now? Twalot berries. Nice type. Uh, my eyes. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna seed bomb this thing. It's just trying to figure out what Pokemon I want to take into this ice thing. And I think the answer is Knackley, because it's a Pichu. Well, you're not gonna live another seed bomb, buddy. Especially since I just crit. stack my wall let's see how well you do against the Pichu I don't understand why they picked Cricket to against the Ice type. Assault here, this thing gets some chip damage going. I actually have a Pichu. I caught one early on, which was kind of interesting to find one.
There are so many items in this game. Dire head. Pokeball. You know Team Star's fire crew has a base near here. You're kind of far off. Little. Oh, I didn't want this out. Oh. I don't even know what type that thing is. A Zoomerill. You know what? We're gonna send out a good old Zappy. Because it's been a while since I've used him. And I haven't used Pomot. His latest evolution. Let's nuzzle it to stop it from going fast. Okay, this thing's a defensive tank. That's unfortunate. So this thing's a special defense tank. Except this one's special defense is really low. Spring up. Avoided it. That was obvious. And that landed. Oh, I kind of forgot I'm a fighting type now. This was my fighting type. Let's learn Spark. How strong is Spark? 65 and it's a physical. Bye, Thundershock. I will keep Nuzzle for a long time, probably, because Nuzzle is actually extremely good. Yeah, I'm on fire. Toad Scrolls, Deerling, Oinkalone, Poke Doll, a horde of Oinkalones. Do I dare go down there? I am finding so many berries. Okay, so if I do go down there, there is a, at least a way back up.
That's a Dunsparce. A Dunsparce with normal Terra? This thing gets a ton of normal moves, because it's a normal type. So this thing also just gets double stab on normal. I maybe should have chose my Knackle Stack for this. Instead of my Pama. I'm glad for the Intimidate. Um, let's paralyze it. this thing. Hit it three times. That's good. Oh, that's bad. Well, if I wouldn't have just caught a Dunsparce, I would have caught this Dunsparce. Dunsparce scales. No, I like these Terror Raid battles. These, these are pretty cool. Dunsparce. Sandy Cast. I'm gonna run from that. <gasps> it's a shallows. I actually really like Shellos and Gastrodon. They are really good. And I also see that that dolphin out there. I am going to catch it. Oh, that thing will probably survive a bite now. this thing. Yes! Perfect. Now give me that shelves. If I ever need a different water type. Gastrodon is a pretty good choice. The only issue I have with Gastrodon is he has a four times weakness to grass. The Eastern Sea. Oh, come here. We're gonna nuzzle this thing. I've 
probably will not end up using this thing, but I do like the idea of it, of uh, Palafin. I'll nuzzle it again because it's in the green. There we go. I'm just trying to remember how you actually evolve this thing. I think it involves the Union Circle. That is a Toxapex. I am not going to mess with that Toxapex. Because I have no idea what level that thing is going to be. But I have a feeling it will be a high level. However, if I see that Marini again, I'll pick it up. you. I'll pick you up, too. I can't paralyze it. So we'll go ahead and just bite it. Let's use a non-stab move. I made the right choice. I think if I would have sparked that thing, it would have I would have knocked it out. I see a slowpoke in the background, and slowpoke is actually pretty good. Its eyes are all wonky. Uh, was this this thing was specially defensive? I think it's just defensive all around. That's unfortunate. Fight. That's super effective because it's psychic. And a crit. <laughs> well, it wasn't meant to be, Slowpoke. It was not meant to be. Hmm. I'm not really interested in the sand. Let's heal up my floor gato. Sunflora. Oh. Felix the student. I have the better grass type. Let's home claws. Drain to grass type? That was a bad plan. U turn! Sunfloor, flood the floof. Duh, no, I messed up. I 
Rookie D. I don't have time for you. Obviously, there's going to be something over here. Snarl. Pearl string. Murkrow. Link alone. This is what I. S Hi, Deerling. It's a green Deerling. Not interested in picking one of you up right now. A rare bone. <sighs> Alright. Now up the cliff. A timer ball. Oh, that was Squawkabilly guy. Okay. Draining Kiss. That is a good move to have. I wonder how you catch Ditto in this game. Points is that? Nice spy ops. Well, that just disappeared. Probably because I already did it. Venomat, Ted Irsa. the same one, is it? Ugh, I need to beat one more. Yep, let's heal.
I'll stick with it. I'll show you I'm tenacious and I'll stick out no matter how hard the battle gets. Xavier the student. Curlia. Fairy. Psychic. Psychic is bad against... Bug is good against Psychic type. Oh, that is so bad. I don't think a leafage would kill it. There we go. the fairy move I've been craving. Uh, let's get rid of bounce. Because charm is still a really good move. Annoy bat. It's a flying type. Man, Claude, so you're kind of getting neglected a little. I think no matter what, I'll swap in Claude Sire for the next Pokemon. Unless there's just an obvious choice. But I need to keep these guys all pretty level. Spark. It is a dragon type. Because that should have been super effective against it. So, Knackle Stack would have been the better choice. Zangoose? Uh, I don't have any. Oh! Palmot was the right choice. He is a fighting type against the normal. Let's try to poison it. Okay, it's leveling up. It's... Mud shot it. Let's drop its speed. That's unfortunate. So my Claude Sire is not defensive. Let's see at best the wall, who is defensive. Salt cure this thing. Wow, he has answers for everything. Stacks, you are a wall. Even though you beat me, I still won't give up.
fairy type. That'd be perfect for Claude. Ooh, a cyclosaur. I didn't even notice this thing here, to be honest. To be honest, I want it. Water gun. From my understanding, this thing evolves into an electric type. Give me that tadpole. That cyclozar really wants me. Province Area One. All righty. I want this guy's item. I think these guys give pretty good items, which is why I'm going back for it. Oh, there's a gun fires. Loaded. Okay. I need to start doing all these, because this item is ridiculous. And I'm about 90% sure I'm going to get leftovers from that guy. Sire up front.
I'm just gonna do a little bit of exploring over here. A quick ball. Poison tail. Oh, good lord, all these Pokemon just randomly showed up. It's a green dearling. I kind of forget that Claude Sire is super slow. So yeah, he'd have a hard time getting out of battle. Okay, dearling. Let's see what happens when I hit you with a poison tail. Catch range. I guess I will catch this dearling now. Those Tauros are looking for a fight. <laughs> they are not happy with that Maridon right there. There we go, that's better. <laughs> oh, Clutch is going to learn Poison Jab. Uh, we'll replace Poison Tail. Even though the crit chance is raised on Poison Tail, I'd rather have the just higher base damage. I think this is rock type. But just to be safe. Just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and just swap to. Azumarill. It was ground type. I made the right choice on swapping up that Clot Sire. We're gonna aqua tail this thing. I just one shot it. I don't have one yet, so I'll take the Venonat.
guess I didn't realize that Ben and that was bug poison. I just thought it was a pure bug. It's a flittle. So I will be catching this thing because I don't know what flittle actually is. ground type, so you sent in an electric type. Baby doll eyes will decrease my attack. Catch that flittle. Gladly take that flittle. Sorry, I've been kind of quiet. I've just been exploring and enjoying the game. Oh, it's a pure psychic type. I saw you at the school, talking so familiarly, familiarly with Director Clavel. So? Mercedes the student. No, I didn't mean to have this out. Let's play rough. Well, that thing went down like a ton of bricks. Oh, sweet Clavel, what do you see in this no ne'er do well? So I got 50 volumes of this, so I get 5 XP candies, smalls, and a firestone. And I'll get 10 nest balls next. I need 78 more Pokemon. <laughs>
right, just one bout. This will be a good warm up before I head head to the work site. That means you're probably using a fighting type. Able the worker. Nope, a normal type. It might also be ground. Let's find out. Ooh, don't paralyze me. Ooh, that means it's probably gonna have either swallow or spit up. Poisoned. Slam again. Well, there goes Plot Sire. Sire beat it, but that didn't warm me up at all. Not surprised. So looks like a water one. So we will swap. This up front. It's an actual water type. Oh, you don't get experience from this anyway, so. So it'll get its double water stab. I'm starting to get kind of tired, guys. Two electric types. I am not catching Finneon. have a penny on so almost missed that. That is a dreepy. This little guy 
evolves into Dragapult. I skipped Generation 8, but I do know of Dragapult. And Dragapult, from my understanding, is ridiculous. We're gonna spark, and hopefully not... Well, that's unfortunate. But I know it spawns here at this bridge. <gasps> There's a second one. I get another shot. It is a ghost, so I will not use my bite against it. Let's try that again. Listen, game, give me the Dreepy. I wonder if it's because I'm close to those ruins over there that I'm finding these Dreepy. Using Dreepy because I already have a plan for a ghost type. And I haven't really given much thought to a dragon type yet. But I want my Claude Sire healed up. I miss him. Where did I even find this pearl string? I guess I'm gonna hold on to my treasures for now. But I will check to see what they can offer me to sell. Psychic terrain is pretty good. Oh, I, I didn't realize that that was deep enough to matter. Give me go. This is the reason I wanted to come over here. Toxic spikes? <gasps> if I didn't have Meryl. This is the fairy I wanted.
And I might still swap out that barrel for this. You have draining kiss. You'll be able to take a spark. Barely. Yes! Also, I don't think I was supposed to be on this side of the river yet. Okay, I can't paralyze this thing, but I can bite it. I'm gonna have to great ball this thing because I'm not gonna be able to lower it anymore with Pomot. There we go. Caught that Magnemite. This thing is stuck in the wall. Think the tough. Let's spark. Oh, oh, I avoided it. Perfect. I was gonna say that sucks. I'm gonna be par. I'm gonna be confused. Nope, I wanted that Tinka Tink. I like to get the base form and then evolve things. It's a great ball. You know, I have this bad feeling about this trainer. Merrells are playful. Ramon. A rufflet, huh? Well, that's bad. Ooh, but he's got a second Pokemon. Let's see if I can poison this thing. 
Hopefully this guy doesn't have just two flying types. Defense is that bad. Dreadnought. That is a water rock type. Yeah, we'll let you be badly poisoned, Dreadnought. I know you got some good defense. And I'm hoping you hit me with a water move. Darn it. Oh. That poison dropped it just to the point where I could beat it. There we go, leveled up that dread. My clod sire. Wahaha, <laughs> nothing old. Oh, I can outright get a chancy here. Toros. Magical Leaf. Ghost, huh? Alright. What else do we have around here? There's obviously going to be an item around this tree. Well, there's a chancy. Clubs are I have what it takes. One move. Oh, I will hit it. Nah. I'm not going to do that. As much fun as they are, they kind of take up a little bit of time. There's a little gimme goal right here.
trainers. Alright, is anyone still in here? Arturo. Set out a sand dial. It's a ground dark. I'm ground poison. Mud shot. Beat me, my confidence is cratering. Yep, it should be. A firestone. <laughs> I'm not really reading these trainers' dialogues because they're kind of just boring. We'll poison jab this thing. Poison this. Please poison this. Oh, thank you. Can't put another aqua ring on it. You'll heal up with the aqua ring and I'll knock it down with some poison. And I got water absorb. <laughs> Claude Sire with water absorb is broken. Because it literally removes one of his weaknesses. Whew, thanks for helping me tamp down my power like that. It can be pretty overwhelming. Oh, that's Magnemite. Is there some drapies on this? Nope. Oh, there's another Dreepy out there. And one on the bridge. Oh no, that's a Gimme Ghoul. Yeah, how many of those coins do I have? I've been meaning to check. I feel like they'd be a key item. Seven. Okay.
it's still that Growlithe. Nope. It disappeared. Beep, 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 goes Cavi, goes the Cavi all through the sky. Ugh, where'd you come from? I was singing, I was singing to myself thinking there was no one around. Throw out your flying Pokemon. A Varoom? That is a steel poison type. Ground is quite effective. That was quite ineffective. That's honestly a Pokemon I kind of want. I couldn't even win. I was so embarrassed. Flying electric. Oh, that'll knock it out. I think I'd be four trainers in this. Yeah, you get it, Cloud Sire. Gosh, I love this thing. Oh, I beat this guy already. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna swap out to... Nope, I'm gonna stay on Claude. He is the lowest level. You know what? I wanna be come real, str real strong. Just like Miss Nimona is. Oh, did you lose to Miss Nimona? No, you're a student. Cub Chew? That's bad. That thing's super effective against my ground typing. <laughs> I just one shot of it. <laughs> Gotta be like Miss Nimona. Yeah, I forgot about this fairy one. I was actually going to do this fairy one. That's a slack off. Give me that. Claude is perfect for this. The only thing that would have been better is a steel type. But those are extremely rare. I think I've got one. And that's Magnemite. It's 
poison jab this thing. Sire, wake up. Okay, it did wake up. Give me that slack off. I don't particularly care for slacking. But I kind of did it for its ingredients. Take this. Oh, that was really close. But that's what I wanted, was it to be about right there. That thing is a defensive tank. And it's honestly a really good poison type. Jonathan. Send out a deerling. It's neutral against me if it's grass moves. And I've got toxic spikes for her. Oh, good job avoiding that. Lay down another layer. Oh, you're going for chip. Alrighty.
Stantler? That thing's normal type. Ooh, it could be normal psychic though. this thing. I'm thrusted one more time. There we go. Why are the winds of fate always blowing against me? Because they don't like you. It's only level 22? You want to be number one. I want to be number one. I'm going to be the strongest. No, you're not. Anas, you're not going to be anything. He's fighting like an online fighter. Alrighty. You get that rough the back in there and I'll poison jab this low kicks again. Poison jab one more time. Oh. Well, I know it'll be a rufflet. Oh, what should I swap into now? Poor Clot Sire. Go with the wall. Well, 
We'll smack it down. wants to learn Worry Seed. What is Worry Seed? It prevents sleep by making the target's ability insomnia. And now we'll smack down. Your U-turn strategy doesn't work anymore, kid. I guess maybe we could share being number one. No, 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 no. Let's go up to the Pokemon Center, and then I think I'm actually going to call it a night. Oh wait, there was one thing I wanted to do. Because this kid had a different color name when I battled him. That's a knackly. It is time for me to stop for the night, guys. As soon as I heal up. Sorry I wasn't as talkative tonight, I just was focused on getting through those routes. Oh, one thing before I stop. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to this guy. So I think I completed enough battles. Yep, I did. Stomping Tantrum. That is also a pretty good move. So I would like to thank everyone who did show up to watch. I do appreciate your support and I appreciate the two follows I got from Nanzo2002 and Megan Stewart's Zero. I appreciate all your guys' support and I would like to see you guys in the next stream. Y'all take care.